An old year is slowly winding down and a new one is just right around the corner. Coming up on Inside Cowboy Basketball, we recap the final game of 2006, Texas San Antonio. Plus, sophomore Kenny Cooper tells us what he worked on the most during the offseason. Yeah, I really try to work on my, uh, my conditional wise and my strength wise and uh, jumping ability, high fat room on the floor. And finally, we'll preview the first Big 12 Conference game against Baylor. All that and much more coming up right now as we go inside Cowboy Basketball. Hit it, hit it, hit that Kenny, hit that Joe, hit that John when we get there. Two national championships, six Final Fours, 17 conference championships. From Iba to Eddie and now Sean, from 1938 to today, it's been home to the rowdiest arena in the country. Join us on Eddie's Sutton Court as we go inside Cowboy Basketball with head coach Sean Sutton. It all starts now. Welcome to Inside Cowboy Basketball. I'm Rob Labor. Well, the Cowboys closed out 2006 just like they wanted to with a win over Texas San Antonio right here at home. For more on the win, let's head to the locker room. Uh, first half, I think we wasn't really playing up to our potential. I think we was kind of sluggish in the first half, not playing as uh, our best defense, but second half, I think we picked it up on defense and that made our offense click a little more. Coming in here as, a, uh, as not a cowboy, I guess this evening, I am a cowboy, but this evening, it, it was a little strange, but it was also uh, very exciting because you got to see uh, the other side of what, you know, we've put a lot of people through, you know, so it, it was a lot of fun for, for me, and I told the guys after there, you know, I didn't feel like they played as well, but... Uh, you know, they competed, and Oklahoma State is the reason we didn't play as well, for sure. For more on the game with the Roadrunners, let's join Tom Dorado and head coach Sean Sutton. Guys? Well, thanks, Rob. Indeed, it was a great night at Oklahoma State as Cowboys beat UTSA, uh, the Roadrunners of uh, Texas San Antonio, Brooks Thompson. And we'll talk about Brooks here in a little bit, but a little slow start, but once we got it rolling, things were good. You know, I, I thought we struggled the first 10 minutes. A lot, a lot of it has to do with... Uh, their intensity at the defensive end. They did a great job taking us out of some things that we were trying to run, and then uh, we were able to kind of settle down, uh, get control of the game. One of the things that I felt was really critical in this game was that we controlled the pace. They wanted to make it more of a half-court methodical game, and, and they had it that way for the first 10 minutes. Uh, and then we were able to generate the tempo and get the pace uh, going up and down a lot more faster uh, to our liking. And, uh, we were able to get some things going to the basket. I uh, got to the free throw line. I uh, had a big run at the end of the first half and then a big run to start the second half and really blow it open. And I, I thought we, we played extremely well the last 28 minutes. The Cowboys 16 to 2 run to close the first half over the last five and a half minutes and then a 6 0 run. So you extend a 22 2 run last part of the first half first part of the second half and basically that was the ball game defense turning into offense. You know, one of the things that we talked about uh, late in the first half at a timeout is we need to, to extend this lead and see if we can't get it up 16 18 points by the end of the first half. Uh, we were able to do that and I thought it was very critical that we come out the second half uh, reestablish the momentum uh, see if we couldn't break it open to 25 points and I think we had it right at 25 points uh, at the 15 minute mark in the first TV timeout and we were able to, to force them in some turnovers and get some uh, layups and dunks at the other end. And uh, right now, you know, our team is, is a lot better. And we can get out and run and transition and convert turnovers to baskets. Yet another good game for Kenny Cooper. It's, I think, the fourth in a row. Coop turns in a career high as far as minutes played. And I tell you, he's looking more confident in everything he does. Playing so much better and uh, playing with a smile on his face and uh, he's got tremendous confidence right now and as you mentioned he, he's really played four great games in a row going back to Ball State uh, his performance against Tennessee and Nashville uh, he had a, a big time performance against Pitt and then tonight uh, to come back with 15 points eight rebounds uh, six at the offensive end I think he is right now uh, he's playing with so much more confidence and that's something we need uh, a low post presence uh, he's demanding the basketball, he's being much more aggressive, and he's attacking the basket. There are areas in which this club st still needs to improve, but there are a couple of individuals who have to continue to increase their level of intensity, David Mons being one of them. Well, when you got eight players, you need, some, you need every one of those guys to step up every day, not only in the games, but on the practice court. 
and uh, uh, last night. I didn't feel like David was playing with the intensity, uh, the effort, the passion that we needed him to play with. And, uh, I just told him to go to the locker room if he, he wasn't ready to play. And uh, uh, no different, in my opinion, than getting thrown out of practice. And hopefully uh, he's going to come back to the practice court uh, and be tough and, and play with more effort, more passion, because uh, there's no question we need him. And David's too good a person. Uh, he's a very good player, uh, but he's got to bring it every day. Well, the Cowboys now 13-1 and one on the year. One non-conference game still left to play. We'll talk about that a little bit later in the show. But our Ask Coach segment is next. Inside Cowboy Basketball is brought to you in part by Arby's, your central Oklahoma Honda 5 dealers, Oklahoma Farm Bureau, O'Reilly Auto Parts, your Oklahoma 4 dealers, Conoco and Phillips 66, and your Oklahoma Chevy dealers. You're watching Inside Cowboy Basketball with head coach Sean Sutton. Where's our other guards at? These guys just went. Come on, guys. It's not very Swing it. Bust it. Good, Kenny. This side. This side. Let's go, ball game. Run over there and get him, Kenny. Go get him. Good shot. Get your questions ready. It's time to ask Coach. And our first question this week comes from Rick in Oklahoma City. A timely one. What was like coaching against Brooks Thompson, your good friend? You know, I enjoyed it, especially the way the game <laughs> I ended. Bet you we did. Won by 37 points. But uh, Brooks is a very good friend of mine, and we've been friends for a long time. And uh, I've really enjoyed watching his daughters grow up. Uh, he's got a great wife in Michelle and uh, really, you know, an outstanding player at Oklahoma State and has been very instrumental in what we've been able to accomplish uh, in the 17 years we've been at OSU and uh, very proud of the, the coach that he's turned into. Uh, there's no question in my mind that he'll do a, an outstanding job uh, with the UTSA program. And I think it's just a matter of time before he has them competing for Southland Conference championships. Uh, he's got a great future. Uh, really knowledgeable and extremely competitive and that was great. It was great to see the fans acknowledge him uh, last night with the ovation because he has been a big part of what we've been able to do, not only as a player, but the two times he came back to, to help us on our staff. The first time being an administrative assistant, the second time being the director of basketball operations. So uh, I'm very proud of him and I hope that his team will win a lot of games coming up in the conference. Bill up in Bartlesville, this is a good one. Uh, I know what he's going to say, but uh, how do you feel about playing three of your first five conference games on the road as we look ahead? Not too thrilled about that <laughs> one, especially uh, with the first one being at Kansas and Fall Gallon Fieldhouse. But, uh, you know, with the schedule, you have no control of that. You have to uh, play the games when they tell you to, and it all evens out in the long run. So uh, not a huge deal, but important that I think any time in conference play, you've got to win at home. And that's the thing that last year got us into problems because it's very difficult to win on the road in this league. So you've got to protect your uh, home court, uh, win all your games at home, and then go on the road and steal some games. Well, I appreciate all the emails that you sent in. And every week we look to uh, get your questions. We'll pick two out of the hat, and uh, hopefully we'll get to yours real soon, as early perhaps as next week. You can send those to Ask Coach at fox23.com. Now, we talked about the final non-conference game still on the horizon. We'll get to that, but we'll first throw it back to Rob. Thanks, Tom. Coming up after the break, junior forward Marcus Dove tells us what he loves the most about playing basketball right here at OSU. That's next when Inside Cowboy Basketball continues. But first, a little trivia. Which Cowboy holds the record for the most blocks in a season? Is it A, Bryant Reeves, B, Joe Atkinson, or C, Andre Williams? The answer a little later as Inside Cowboy Basketball continues in a moment. You're watching Inside Cowboy Basketball with head coach Sean Sutton. Since my days at OSU, I've been doing a lot of different things. Went and obviously played for a while, but uh, now uh, I've gotten into the coaching business and now the head coach at the University of Texas San Antonio. 
Well, life's been great. Uh, I've been fortunate, uh, obviously blessed with a wonderful wife and uh, two young daughters, six and three, and uh, things have been great. And I owe a lot to this university and to, to this basketball program, and it's been a, a tremendous deal, and I'm sure thankful that Sean brought me back and uh, brought, brought the rest of the former Cowboys back. No, I think they're beautiful. You know, I think they're as nice as facilities you'll see in, the, in, in America, and I think, uh, you know, it's well-deserved, you know, with the success the football programs had and the wrestling and uh, you know, you can go down the line, the success of the programs, but the success of uh, the basketball program, and this year will just, you know, keep the success going with the nice facilities. And uh, with recruiting these days, you got to have certain things. So uh, they've done a tremendous job with these facilities, and I know that they're uh, doing a lot more with this athletic village. I look forward to coming back and seeing it. I don't have just one most memorable moment. I have, uh, you know, I, I played five years in the NBA, but I always tell my players these days, you know, that, you know, college is your best experience. You know, you're, you know, when you get out in the real world, things are different. But, you know, I try to tell young people, and especially, you know, if I get an opportunity to talk to these players, you know, I've got that opportunity to play. But, you know, every moment I cherish about basketball and basketball memories uh, is playing over there in Gallagher Ive Arena and playing for Coach Sutton. Junior forward Marcus Dove is one of the best defenders in the Big 12 Conference. And he likes defense, but he's also a big fan of horror movies and Daffy Duck. Marcus tells us more as we go in the paint with the native of Long Beach, California. What's your favorite food? Favorite food? I would have to say soul food. It was like a variety, collard greens, black eyed peas, fried chicken, stuff like that. What uh, pro athlete do you look up to? Uh, I would have to say Kobe Bryant, being from the L.A. area. Uh, growing up, I looked up to Michael Jordan. Magic Johnson. If you could have dinner with one person, who would it be? Martin Luther King, just because he was such an inspiration for all, all races growing up and the things that he did for uh, not only African Americans, but Hispanics and everything else. And uh, even Caucasians made them kind of see the light. So I think I would like to sit down and have dinner with him. If they were to make a movie about your life, who would play you? I think I'd like to play me because I, I know the most about my life, so maybe get into the acting career thing. <laughs> What's your favorite TV show? Law and Order. When I was little, my, uh, I used to chill with my dad, and every Wednesday he watched Law and Order, and I'd be in there with him, so I kind of grew to like it, so now I watch it every Tuesday and Friday. <laughs> What's your favorite sport other than basketball? College football. College football. I'm not a real big fan of the NFL, but uh, USC Trojans football. I mean, we got some guys from Texas and other states, Florida, so we all kind of battle each other on Saturdays to see which team's going to win and which team's going to lose. What's your favorite thing to do before a game to get you pumped up? First, I like to pray or read a Bible scripture, and then uh, probably just listen to some. Uh, music, maybe like Tupac or something like that to get my mind right, get me hyped for the game. What's your favorite thing about playing here at Oklahoma State? I would say uh, the fans. I mean, I've been to uh, all kind of arenas and other colleges, and there's just no atmosphere like it is here at Oklahoma State. What's your proudest moment? I would have to say graduating high school and now being on track to graduate college in May. What is your most embarrassing moment? I always have to say high school, summer league, uh, I dove for the ball and my shorts came down and uh, I had to pull them, I tried to pull them up real quick but it was really too late so. <laughs> Coming up after the break, sophomore center Kenny Cooper tells us who influenced him while he was growing up. That's next when Inside Cowboy Basketball continues. Hey guys, how you doing? This is Desmond Mason and you're watching Inside Cowboys Basketball. Now to that trivia question. Which Cowboy holds the record for the most blocks in a season? If you guessed Andre Williams, you guessed correctly. Andre had 85 blocks in 2003. In his second season, sophomore center Kenny Cooper is becoming a force inside for the Cowboys. But Kenny is used to dominating in the middle. He led his high school team to a state championship in his senior year. Kenny tells us more as we go front and center with the Louisiana native. Front and center is brought to you by your Oklahoma Chevy dealers. Kenny, you're no longer a freshman, yeah. no longer the lowest guy on the totem pole. What's it feel like to uh, finally move up a little bit and start your sophomore season? 
Uh, I think, you know what I'm saying, the biggest thing was getting experience or whatever, so I think the sophomore be more experienced or, uh, for the game. What, what did you work on in the offseason? Was there maybe one facet of your game that you, that you really focused on and tried to improve over the summer? Yeah, I really tried to work on my, uh, my conditional-wise and my strength-wise and uh, jumping ability, how fast I'm on the floor, and uh, post moves defensively. I work on that a lot. Is there one thing in your game that you feel like you have now that maybe you didn't have last year? Uh, I think I could finish better now, you know, uh, how I run the flow better like that, rebound. Now, they're probably going to count on you to, to get down in the paint this season, produce some numbers in there. I mean, yeah. do, you, do you put some pressure on yourself to really perform down there close to the basket? Uh, a little bit of pressure, but it's not a lot, you know. Too much, ain't too much out of hand or whatever, so I just just try to stay calm and try to do what they say to do. And uh, as far as your, your academics go off the court, I know you're majoring in, in physical education here. Yeah. What do you plan on doing with that? And maybe have you thought about some of your plans after basketball is over? Yeah, what I really want to do is uh, be like a high school uh, basketball coach because that's who influenced me to play basketball with my high school coach. So I want to do the same thing to a kid that what, uh, my high school coach did to me. So I think that's, that's why I want to you know what I'm saying? Right. Coach Cooper have a nice ring to it? Yeah, 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 I think I like that. I like that. All go. right, Kenny, thanks so much. Coming up after the break, we take a look at the Big 12 opener. That's next when we return to Inside Cowboy Basketball with head coach Sean Sutton. This is Joey Grimm, and you're watching Inside Cowboy Basketball with Sean Sutton. Inside Cowboy Basketball is brought to you in part by Arby's, your Central Oklahoma Honda 5 dealers, Oklahoma Farm Bureau, O'Reilly Auto Parts, your Oklahoma 4 dealers, Conoco and Phillips 66, and your Oklahoma Chevy dealers. The Cowboys close out the non-conference portion of their schedule and open up Big 12 play next week. Let's rejoin Tom Dorado and head coach Sean Sutton as they look ahead to Southwestern Oklahoma State and Baylor. Guys? Well, thanks again, Rob. And again, uh, Tuesday night, uh, Southwestern Oklahoma comes into town. And then, hey, a couple of days later, Big 12 season begins. Well, it'll be a big game Tuesday night, Southwestern Oklahoma State, undefeated up to this point, and uh, another chance to play on our home court. And when you go four weeks without playing at home, uh, you love to get back in this atmosphere. And uh, certainly a great atmosphere against Texas San Antonio last night. And looking forward to the atmosphere Tuesday night. And then, as you mentioned, uh, conference play starts Saturday, and uh, always important to get off to a great start. I think Scott Drew has uh, got a very good team this year. A lot of, almost their whole team back from a year ago uh, and have been impressive and playing well lately. So uh, two big games. Uh, hopefully we can close out the non-conference schedule 14-1, uh, and one, uh, then get off to a 1-0 and zero start in the Big 12. Tuesday night's game is so important and that you don't want to take any steps back. You don't want to give anything back. You want to continue to go upward. And, and that's true in this, uh, this break, if you will, that you're working out every day trying to get better. I think that you've seen the progress that we've made from game to game. Uh, I thought we got better uh, last night against Texas San Antonio. And hopefully we're going to get better Tuesday night against Southwestern Oklahoma State. And uh, normally most college teams make a lot of progress during this time of year. Uh, typically, our teams have always made a lot of improvement, a lot of strides uh, during the in between the two semesters, uh, getting a chance to work out twice a week. Uh, so hopefully, uh, we're going to continue to get better. Uh, we still have a lot of uh, room for improvement, and um, I really like the, the attitude, how hard our guys are working every day, and uh, we'll hope that we continue to get better and we can. Uh, win both these games coming up. Well, Sean, congratulations on that win 13. See you Tuesday night. Okay, Tom. That wraps it up from here, Rob. We'll send it back to you. Thanks, guys. That's all the time we have for this week. Be sure to join us next time as we follow the Cowboys into a new year and into the Big 12 Conference. For Tom Dorado, head coach Sean Sutton, and the entire OSU coaching staff, I'm Rob Labor, and we'll see you next week.